Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you are doing well. I am doing very well myself. I am hunkering down inside today because it is snowing so much outside. And I'm glad I don't have to be out there in it today. Tomorrow I do, but not today. So, how's the weather where you are? <laughs> I actually do have a question for you today that I would love to hear your responses on. What is your best scent memory? Is it something someone cooked for you as a child growing up? favorite food? Is it a particular cologne or perfume that a favorite teacher wore? What scent memory brings back something really special for you, a special memory? I'd like to hear it in the comments below. For me, I think it is perfume and some of the perfumes my favorite teachers wore, even one of my babysitters. I loved the perfume she wore, and I, can't, I couldn't tell you what that is today, but I know when I smell it, and it just, I'm taken back a lot of decades, and it's like, oh, and her name was Jeannie as well. And um, so anyway, it's a very fun, she was a fun babysitter. So that's my particular memory. So what is yours? Today we have a wonderful sponsor, once again, our friends at Scentbird, who are sponsoring this video and supporting my channel, whom I'm so grateful for. As I've mentioned, perfume or cologne um, is part of my daily routine every single day whether I'm going somewhere or not. With Scentbird I am able to try different perfumes and colognes without having to commit to buying a full size which can be $150 on up and I just, I won't buy those things that I would like to try, but with Scentbird, I can. You get a 30-day supply each month, but I'll tell you something, these are lasting me much longer than 30 days, even given how I use them a lot, and I spray my sheets and pillows, pillowcases, so... This is a much safer way to, for me to experiment with perfumes and colognes. For instance, this month I have three new perfumes to try. And you get a card that tells you all about the perfume, the notes, uh, what the fragrance, fragrance is. So for instance, the Harmonist Magnetic Wood by The Harmonist. And I love these little containers. They go with me when I travel. And look, you just pop them out, pop them in. You can change them out. Boom. Now, Magnetic Wood is an energetic fragrance that energizes the wearer like the sun that coaxes out the first blossoms. And it just, it, it's very, like it says, it's very fresh. And then the second one I got is from La Cetane in Provence called Neroli and Orchidee. And it's orange blossom and white orchid in a feminine, floral, and luminous fragrance. And here it is, outside of the case. And I love that these cases have different colors. So this one is mm, lemon, neroli, and vanilla. Oh, it's 
very fresh, very clean. It reminds me of a Hawaiian scent. Very Hawaiian, almost a little like Plumeria, but it's not, but I love it. That's my favorite one this month. And then the last one is by Orman Jane called Orman Woman. So black hemlock, coriander, grass oil, jasmine, and violet. So this one is, oops, I'm gonna unlock it. Oh, oh my gosh. It reminds me of a fragrant forest. It's woodsy and green. It's just beautiful. I love it. But I would definitely wear this out at nighttime. So now I can try these scents. And if I like them a lot, if I love them, I'll buy the full size. But this is a fantastic way to try them out. And remember, this offer is good in the USA and Canada. With my code, GenieB55, you get 55% off the first month's subscription. So that makes it about $7. Each month, you get to pick what you receive. So there are no surprises. And there are lots of options that are unisex options as well. And with each cologne, you get about a 30-day supply. But like I said, mine lasts longer. And I have several that I switch from scent to scent depending on my mood. Scentbird carries brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, as well as indie brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confession of Rebel. So again, use my coupon code GenieB55 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird.com. Thank you to the folks at Scentbird for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. Check them out in the description and in the pinned comment and follow the link provided in the description below. So today I have a flip through with a magazine and it's so crazy to be calling this vintage because it just feels like it was 10 years ago. It is a Cosmopolitan from February of 1981. And <laughs> the beginning of the 80s. And I have another one from April of 1981. It's actually a little thicker. But I flipped through them both already. And except for the articles and stories, they're almost exactly identical. So I'll take the earlier one, the February of 1981 walk through and show you some things. Something that is very common in this era that I notice, actually in all the magazines prior to maybe the 90s or 2000s, I don't know what the cutoff date is, is the amount of cigarette ads. And given that Cosmopolitan is primarily a woman's magazine, um, they are really, really pushing the cigarettes. And one of the thing, uh, things about cigarettes is supposedly they curb hunger. And when people quit, I'm, I've never been a smoker, so I don't know, they start eating more. Well, these magazines are all about being skinny. And so cigarettes would play a part in that, I think. So it's just, it was the era. I have to say, I tried smoking because it's just what everybody did. Um, I tried it, but it just, it was awful. And <laughs> it's like, I can't do this. I tried, I tried at 16 
when I would have been in trouble for it, I tried with some Marlboros, regular old Marlboros. And then again, a few years later, I tried with, I don't know what, I can't even remember, and it just, it was like, no, I am not a smoker. Thank God. So, um... I think with these magazines, too, body image, I can see where body image really became what we were trying to attain and looking model-like, not only with our makeup, but with our bodies. Now, I'm, I was never going to be, you know, six foot tall and um, 100 pounds. But still, I tried to do things, you know, starting with Seventeen magazines when I was a teenager. So they do have a huge influence on us, particularly women, girls and women. The, the trying to fit in with, you know, with the norm, trying to look uh, either cutting edge or part of what's going on in the world of beauty and fashion in society. So, looking back now at these magazines, I, I can find it easy to laugh with my wiser, more experienced eyes and mind. But back then, when I was more susceptible to social influences, I can see why I was being influenced in my ideal, what I thought the ideal was. And if I could tell every young girl, you know, young woman something about themselves is just be you, just be your beautiful, authentic self. Sure, be healthy. That goes without saying. If there are things you can do to be better, but this unattainable myth of what your body should or shouldn't look like is dangerous. And I like that today's magazines, you can pick them up and see different um, ethnicities, different body styles, different body shapes, different heights. I don't feel so bad being short. <laughs> and a little curvy based on today's magazines, some of them, not all, some of them. And there's still a distance to go with that, I think. And another thing too, with the advent of social media, I think a lot of girls think they have to look a certain way with their makeup, all that contouring stuff that you see, those little TikTok videos, you know. Um, and the unrealistic body things that some very wealthy young women can pay for that the average girl cannot. And I won't mention any big family with all the sisters who, you know, pay for a lot of different cosmetic things. I think we know who they k -k -k are. Um, but it creates this thing of, I need to do that too, you know? Oh, today's fashion is a really big bottom. Today's fashion is being really skinny. Or today's fashion, based on these girls saying so and modeling so, is the big, you know, the big, big lips or this kind of makeup. And ultimately... It gains you nothing. Self-assurance. Being comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, play with makeup, but don't make it that it is your identity one way or another. That is what I've learned over the years. Whether I have the biggest, thickest lips or eyel longest eyelashes or God knows what else, that doesn't determine who I am. That doesn't give me my value, and I know that. I have as much value as 
you know, m made up as I do when I wake up and I look like creature from the Black Lagoon. I am who I am. Whether I'm made up or not. And so are you. Male or female or anything. You are who you are. And if you're honest and authentic and loving and generous of spirit, you're enough. You are enough. So there's your beauty tip. And now let's go through this 1981 Cosmopolitan magazine. And you can listen to me and my thoughts about some of these ads, articles, although I'm not going to go through all the long articles, just topical. And I hope you enjoy it. If not for the content, then the droning, boring, blah, blah, that will hopefully knock you out and put you to sleep. So... I'm today's jewelry. I have to say, I love this set. My husband bought this for me in Japan for my birthday about three or four years ago. Yeah, about three years ago, maybe. Yeah, maybe three. And I don't wear it enough. And we are going out later on with some of our kids. So I thought this is what I'm going to wear, and I'm ready to go. And it's got gold and pearl, and I don't know what these are, stones, really pretty stones. He's so sweet. Um, I was there in Japan with him, and I walked by. We stay at this beautiful hotel, uh, depending on where we are, whether it's Osaka or Tokyo, Narita, um, this one hotel has a jewelry store in it as you exit. And I think it was called the Intercontinental. And it, I would stop and look. And so I know that I was eyeballing this. And he bought this for me. And these two. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Let's get the camera looking down. So here are two Cosmopolitans. The red one is from February of 1981, and the blue one is from April of 1981. And one thing, and you've got two beautiful, heavily made up young women on the front. You know, they are tall and thin. Another thing too, about these magazines, and we'll look through this one, is they are very, um, hmm, image oriented. I should say image and sex oriented. I'm over 30, what one girl did when the shock subsided. You must have had a beautiful body, how to get it back. Um, your affair, should you tell anyone? When you're, when you're hooked on a man who's a womanizer. Um, emotional aphrodisiacs. Living with a man, fiscal facts. <laughs> Handy dandy chart. Telling what he's likely to earn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, my affair with a cowboy. Um, anyway, sexy novels, these, all these, the, the cosmopolitans of that, this time, always had lots of stories that were very hot and steamy, so, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one, because they're very similar, except for the stories, so, here we go, now, She's got the uh, Brooke Shields thicker eyebrows, which came back in the 80s, which I mine from the 70s, 
never really grew back nice and thick, but that's okay. So here is the 70s and 80s supermodel Cheryl Teagues. She just had this beautiful, toothy, wholesome, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, you know, um, wholesome look. And uh, she was a top, top model. And I think she's still beautiful living today, you know, as an older woman. And so this is for Clarisse. As if she did her own hair with a box of color that you buy at the grocery store very unlikely. And one time a hairdresser told me that all they have to do to have truth in advertising with this is to do like a just a small strand and that counts as having used it. So no, this is not all this. This ad for Revlon Formula 2 Mascara could be in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2020s. It's just mascara. I think forever women have been trying to make their eyelashes look good. See, thin, thick, and thicker with CoverGirl Thick Lash Mascara. I think women This is Brooke Shields. It just hit me. I was gonna <laughs> She's so made up I couldn't even tell that it was her. This is Brooke Shields. Anyway, this goes in any decade these. Okay, and a Ford Escort. Now, small cars or, and gas efficient cars were really in demand because in the 70s, and I remember this when we had the oil embargoes going on, you could only buy gasoline every other day um, and the lines to gas stations were long and very often they would run out of gas and so your license plate had um, it ended in a number and if it was odd you went on these days and if it was even you went on the other day and if you ran out of gas or needed gas on that day you weren't odd or even according to what it was, you could not get gas. So, unless, I should say, if there was no line, which was rare, or if there was no line and the gas station attendant let you pass. So. Okay, so lipstick, color plus. Good For You Lip Color by Alme. Oneida, or Oneida. Silverware or stainless steel. Now, Charlie. That was very popular by Revlon in the 70s and 80s, and I don't even know if it's still out or not. But a lot of gals wore this. Now, look at her. Her legs are like six feet tall. <laughs> you know, high heels, of course. Mm. And then, of course, Christy Brinkley. She was kind of in the same category as Cheryl Teagues. You know, very wholesome, blonde haired, blue eyes. That's what they were looking for. Noxema, Cover Girl. Estee Lauder. I love, I've always loved Estee Lauder. White Linen is one of my favorite perfumes by 
and their makeup is good too. Okay, Cosmo goes to the movies. So let's see what was what was winning punches in February of 1981. Raging Bull. Seems like old times. Goldie Hawn. The Formula. Uh, nine to Five with uh, Jane Fonda and Dolly Parton. That was great. If you haven't seen Nine to Five, that was funny. Breaker Morant. And Cachet Perfume. No. The perfume no two women can share. Cherokee shoes. All American made. Cherokee of California. I think I had these shoes. See that? Definitely had those shoes. Okay. And Cody makeup. Now, this makeup is very indicative of what the 80s looked like. Lots of blush, lots of eyeshadow, lots of lip. Okay, now, I tagged this and I'm going to show you why. So, this is about to the world, it's discreet, elegant, but up close, it's something else. So they've got this woman here, and she's in a business lunch, okay? And she's looking strong and capable. Can you see that? But, so it looks like she's, you know, holding her own with these men. But look at his eyes. Let's see if I can see that. He's looking right at her low cut blouse. So I don't know what to say about that. It's like they're trying to say a woman can be taken seriously. And yet, she's still going to be sexually identified, you know, somehow. Anyway, that's my take on that. Nails and Lips by Q-Tex. Okay, the department store face versus the custom face. Merle Norman. So you go to... Merle Norman, and they do your makeup, and you can buy your makeup there. Um, I never did that. Okay. Letters, questions to a doctor, a female doctor. Nail polish. Okay, so here's another strong businesswoman, right? But what he notices is her beautiful hair. For hair so shiny, so beautiful, that people can't help but notice it. And a maiden form woman, you never know where she'll turn up. Wearing just her underwear and bra and opera length gloves and a silk robe. I read my horoscope. Now, this is funny. In 1981, this is about the time that I would be laying by a pool, lying by a pool with a girlfriend, reading this magazine, comparing notes, tanning our rear ends off, trying to get as dark as possible, the Saint-Tropez sun, you know, and reading our horoscopes. And actually <laughs> buying, she would say, oh, listen to mine. T -t 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 you know, and I'd be, oh, but listen to mine. 
pert hair. Beautiful bouncing and behaving hair. Okay, and here we go with the cigarettes. One girl, two guys, and they're all smoking and enjoying. Look how happy they are. Triumph. What I do notice is they start listing the nicotine and um, tar in each cigarette. What, what, you know, the tar and nicotine that you get. As if that helps you. I don't know. And then again, look at, look at the makeup. This is 80s makeup. Lots of eye color, lots of lip color. And then this, oh my goodness, let me get some light on this. This, it's a black and white photo. It's Estee Lauder perfume. But what I love is this beach. <laughs> Lame outfit. So it's a pantsuit with a long kind of duster type jacket. Gold lame. It was so 80s. That starlet look. I loved it. Clinique. Aquarius profile, the physical you, the social you, the career you, what your best bets are, your love notes, how to look luscious and fetching, your apartment. Okay. And then, of course, these were very popular. These are the Book of the Month clubs, the Literary Guild. Any four books for a dollar, and then you commit to so many more books every four weeks. Um, and you can cancel at any time, it says. But after you buy four during your membership, you can cancel. The analyst's couch so you could write in and ask my husband hasn't made love to me in over three months <laughs> he says he isn't in the mood okay and then you get his answer which is maybe he's having an affair <laughs> um, perhaps you're being a bit lax about your appearance oh my gosh Okay, we'll move on. Carlton mag uh, um, cigarettes. Okay, I bought this exact, exact, exact eye color from L'Oreal, and I worked so hard to get this. pretty purple makeup, you know, I should try to recreate that. Yeah, very 80s. Okay, feminine stuff. Sugar-free Dr. Pepper. Beautiful taste, not ugly after taste. Oh, okay. And now it starts. Here we go. Put a tag here, too. Viverin or Viverin. And what this is, is a pill. It's a weight loss and energy pill equivalent to about six glasses of cola. So, in other words, it's speed. It's a stimu stimulant. Viverin or Viverin stimulant tablets. So, and I'm going to tell you something. It was just normal to be taking things like this. Getting out of control jitters because Girls like me, you know, young women like me, 
if one is good, two are better, right? And you, I remember having jitters like nobody's business. And maybe it was this brand, maybe it was another, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that was a very common thing, trying to stay skinny, you know? of the Ritz skincare. I don't think that is in business anymore. Okay. The Great Men of Music. Book set. Time Life. Time Life records and books. Always had these things. You know, own all of this set of this person or this genre. Diet Right Sugar-Free Cola. I think this hairstyle is a holdover from the 1970s. It's a, it's a um, firming cream, but this hairstyle is very 70s. And cigarettes. period menstrual cramp relief. Okay, here's another very 80s look. Look at that. Heavy eye makeup. Heavy lip color. Even though it's in black and white. Okay. Robert Hayes, a new, young, handsome star. He was in Airplane movie Airplane. Golly, kids, if you haven't seen that, you have to see the movie Airplane. It is so funny. You know, and my husband, given that he's a pilot, we always say, you know, surely you must, you know, agree. Hey, I do agree, but don't call me Shirley. <laughs> okay. Toyota Celica Supra. That was such a Nivea cream, that's still out today. I used to really like the Spiegel catalog. They had good quality clothes, and I think they went out of business in 2019. But this is a very easy slot. Look at that. Very 80s. I liked Spiegel catalog. of maxi pads. More makeup and tutorials. How to get this look. Support bras. And the limited. That was kind of a great they were in all the malls, the limited store and it clothing store, kind of, you know, lots of cute dresses and things like that. Here's another one, same store. And this too. Murder in your mailbox. Um, a murder, you know, murder uh, books subscription. Book of the month. Murder of the month. Okay. Oh my goodness. Perms. Home perms were the thing in the set. Well, I'd say some in the 60s, but definitely 70s and 80s. I can still smell this perm. And they never turned out nice like this. More eyeshadows, you know, the very strong blues and purples and greens. And then, of course, a hundred dollar beauty kit for only one dollar. 
and so you pick all your eyeshadow colors and lipstick and nail polish and your skin tone and type and every month you get a box just like you know um, those beauty boxes that we have now Puerto Rican rum more bronze sex and rage a sensuous and sophisticated book in paperback that you can read and here's another one <laughs> Ogilvy that's weird Ogilvy perms tried that too Sure, super dry. I used this. I used this in high school in the 70s. In the gym. It would be in my locker. Look at the rotary phone. And you know what this is? It's a home pregnancy test. Daisy. Daisy too. When you buy this test, you can also call a registered nurse to ask a question or get advice. So, that's kind of cool. Now, I got a kick out of this ad. One touch, instead of removing hair once a month, do it once and for all. Now, Electrolysis. Okay, home electrolysis. But look at the size. The point of this thing is like tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at that. See that? It would take you 10 years to get all the hair on your body. Just my thought on that. Again, makeup tutorial. Marlboro Lights. And they're really pushing this low tar. Low tar. This was a very popular campaign with Angie Dickinson in the late 70s and early 80s. And it was about avocados. And they approached it from the 17 calories a slice, which everybody was about calories. And she says, would this body lie to you? But, you know, what we've learned since then is avocados have amazingly great fats for you. So. Okay. Martini and Rossi vermouth. Hmm. Okay, a nightgown, Jensen car speakers, hmm. that's an interesting thing to have. I wonder why they would advertise car speakers in a women's magazine. I don't know. I don't understand that. Defending yourself against rape, and basically I glanced through this and it's don't be nice, be as aggressive and mean as anything, and try to hurt them. Don't just try to hurt them a little, hurt them a lot, because, and hurting him badly enough to stop him. So that's what this article is about. Uh, Kathy Rigby, she was a gymnast, and she's advertising feminine napkins. And, okay, <clears throat> all right, Babe Cologne by Fabergé. I remember this scent. Benson and Hedges, cigarettes. I have not seen a current day Cosmo in 
forever, so I don't know if they still advertise cigarettes or not. Do you know? Okay, and then O'Darby's Irish Cream Liqueur. I have not tried that. And I like Irish cream. I like typically, um, what is it, Caroline's or the other one, um, Bailey's. How to buy and store potatoes. Okay. And the Honda. Oh my goodness. 1981 Honda Accord LX. What's funny about this car is this is our oldest daughter's first car. It was a um, burgundy or wine colored. The Honda Accord LX. Okay, Irish Spring. So, now, what you must know about February special people and snappiest happenings. And so these are things that you can buy and recreate or dress like. Look at this glitter. Low cut outfit. Wow. And the big poofy sleeves. See that? be a wild thing. What to wear under your disco duds. <laughs> you know what? This is Great Lash by Maybelline. I think I still have some of this. You know, they still sell it. It's a classic. Okay, Renault Le Car. More than just economy at American Motors. It's kind of cute. A little looks like a little toaster car. All right, diet bars by Pillsbury. These figurines. I remember these yogurt bars, and kind of like a meal replacement. Oh, I remember this Canon Sure Shot. Yeah, it's got the built-in flash. That was a great invention, so you didn't have to keep buying those. Um, flash bulbs. Bass shoes. I had these in tan. Sandals. And <laughs> nylons, women's pantyhose, legs. I mean, those were just the best, and they came in these big plastic eggs, you know, and I loved them. I loved them. I wore them. You really didn't wear dresses without pantyhose. Cigarettes and Blistex. Reducing stress through self-hypnosis. Well, I remember buying this because I loved the idea of shampoo in a tube, like a toothpaste tube, just like toothpaste. That was so cool. And here's Brooke Shields. She advertised for Wella, Wella Balsam. Look at her hair. She had such beautiful. All right, trendy swimwear, I'll say. Virginia Slims. You've come a long way, baby. That was their tagline. From the woman who had to bring in the wood to now she can smoke whatever she wants. Come a long way, baby. American Express. Nail color. Okay. Oh, how 80s is this outfit? Oh, goodness. That 
is so 80s. Kind of preppy, you know, with the turned up collar. Yeah. And him too. He's got a pink jacket. Very, um, you know, Miami Vice. More cigarettes. Hairspray. Come on, touch it. <laughs> Gin. Another steamy romance novel. Ah, here we go. Why buy one album at a time? Get any ten at once for a penny. And so these are um, tapes. And what company is Columbia House? Columbia Record and Tape Club. We all did these. We all did these tapes. Oh my goodness, I still have some. And you can pick record, 8-track, tape cassette, or reel-to-reel. Kids, you know, we used reel-to-reel. -reel. Yes, an 8-track. Contraception, interesting. I think, I think the '80s when, is when that you could start advertising contraception. Hmm. Seagram Seven, Secret, and Perspin. My mom used to wear this. Oh my gosh, this was my mom's brand. that green roll on. It was a liquid and it took forever to dry. More cigarettes. Book of the Month Club. Hmm. I think I've done them all. Okay, here we are. Bailey's Irish Cream. I love it with some whipped cream. And I like it in coffee. And I like it warm or cold. And um, I don't know, I have a little glass, not that big. Maybe once a month, or every other month. Decorating on a budget. Look at this. Yes. All right, royal silk. The care and loving of your feet. Some of these pages are kind of stuck together. There we go. <laughs> down, goose down. A comfortable way to beat the high cost of energy. Stay warm at night. And more cigarettes. My affair with a cowboy. It's a story. So Cosmo always has these steamy, you know, stories. Like two or three of them. Head and shoulders. God, this stuff, it stunk so badly. It really did. I don't know what it was, but it stunk. Okay, now, as we get back into the back end of the magazine, you start seeing things about body more and more. Now it's easier than ever to improve your breast size. And you take this powder, and I'll be honest with you, I probably ordered something like this. <laughs> Improved Right Places. That's the name of it, Right Places. And what you do is you add this powder to, like with milk and honey and fruit and eggs, and you drink all these high-protein, high-fatty things. And it just knows to give you a bigger bust. To 
Mary Tyler Moore. She was lovely. Nice article about her. Okay. They're talking about sexual freedoms throughout the decades. The fiscal facts of matrimony. You love him, you adore him, and yes, of course, you want to marry him. But in these parlous economic times, you simply cannot afford not to know the lifestyle in store for you based on his earning ability. Hmm, okay. And then they talk about how all these things, and yes, finances do affect, you know, your life, but like inflation, credit, children, career, salary, lifestyle, you know, but all on him as the provider, which, you know, it was the time. Your husband, the doctor, lawyer, academic, an engineer, a Wall Street man, a real estate guy, car salesman, and what they made. So, in 1981, you probably can't see this, they go from doctor, lawyer, professor, editor, engineer, on down, real estate, auto salesman, retailer, restaurateur, writer, actor, and account executive. Let's see, so a doctor, average annual salary was $68,000, the average. And if you're a high achiever in that, you make about $200,000 a year. So it gives all of the, all of the rings of what a guy made in 1981. and then determining his financial potential. So, what kind of family does he come from? Tell, you know, about his parents. Did they hold degrees or were they dropouts? Um, his educational level. Um, how articulate is he? Oh, wow. This whole questionnaire. And then what do you do with the question mark? Well, I guess it tells you on 287. We'll get there. Hallmark. Kind of the history of Hallmark cards. Greeting cards. Oh, yeah, let's be skinny skinny, but let's have a whole issue on bread. Oh, I love bread. I love bread. That's kind of nice. Broadway baby. So, the life of somebody, a gal, on Broadway. I'm pretty sure they don't talk about drugs and, you know, um, drinking and, you know, that whole lifestyle. Loneliness, that awful ache talking about a whole article on loneliness. Okay. La Costa Celebrity Spa. Where you can go to a spa and mingle with the rich and famous. Now, this is down in the San Diego area and it is still there. I can imagine that it costs a lot. That would be interesting to see. And they've got, um, so you can go and join a weight loss program. Now, 1981, $1,600 a week. $2,400 for a couple, which includes meals, activities, and services. So they have these, you know, diet things like diet camps. Interesting. 
1600 a week. If that was 1981, whew, you can imagine what it is today. Okay, look at that. Looks like a 1980s room with those colors and the lamps. Oh my goodness, totally. Yep. Very, very 1980s. Okay, a model makes up, and you can do this too. So you can go from plain Jane to this big hair. Look at the hair and the makeup. So it goes through how to get this look. I think the answer is just keep putting it on until it gets heavy and dark enough. I mean, look at that. They've got how to make that extended eye, you know. Yeah, that's the 80s. Tahoe. I'm not too far from Tahoe. About an hour, hour and a half maybe? Hour and a half. Because it's a windy road. But Lake Tahoe is so beautiful. Pearls and pastels. Yep. Look at that. Big hair, <laughs> big makeup. What you don't see a lot of yet is diversity. These are all blonde haired, blue eyed women that I can see. No women of color, no women of various ethnic backgrounds yet. I think I had an outfit like this. Yep, I'm pretty sure I did. And then reading material. You know, just let you lay around in a sun lounger and read, you know, stories, steamy stories. And mm, the 1981 Chevy Camaro. That wasn't the Camaro of the 60s. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little past all these stories. They start on the body, you know, go from this to this with this cellulite solution. Yeah, it's a cream, sure. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I ordered this. I had this. It is, look, I'm going to show you. It is a plastic suit, okay? And it promises no hunger, no pills, because pills were just super popular in the late, actually 60s, 70s, 80s, and I don't even know now, but you know, weight loss pills. You put this on and you work out in it and you can lose five pounds in just 15 minutes. You can lose five inches in five hours. And it is just, I swear, a plastic outfit that you sweat in. It doesn't breathe. <sighs> Again, dropping weight. And this was called Assist Appetite Control Plan. And remember, these appetite control things are basically all speed, you know? Um, yeah, amphetamines. Common? 
as anything. Here's another one, the Bran Diet. Okay, now, typical American diet, you now weigh, let's compare this. Holy cow. Let's say you weigh 120 pounds. On plan one, without eating less, you can soon weigh down to 107. On plan two, you can weigh down to 86 pounds. 86 pounds. Oh. So what is it? I mean, bran, what is it? I mean, I know what bran is. Is it a muffin? It's a diet plan. It's just a diet plan that you pay for. Okay? Okay, here's another one. Uh, burns way fat up to 22 times faster than exercise. Shrink your waist. Blah, blah, blah. And what is it? It's a pill. It's a pill. Appetite suppressant and a stimulant. Oh, here's another bust builder. And it just knows when you increase your... <laughs> with this powder, it just knows all these proteins and fats are going to go right to your bust. Not your butt. Not your waist. Just your butt. Bust. Sure. I don't remember, but I probably bought that one too. Yep, they got my money. Okay, these were really popular. White Cross Diet Aid Tablets. Um, again, they're just amphetamines. And they went around high school. Every girl had these in her purse, you know? And the crazy thing is, I remember, you know, in high school they had vending machines, and my favorite thing to buy from a vending machine was a Butterfinger bar. And then I'd follow up with taking a White Cross Diodade tablet. It's like, you know... Not too smart there. Not too smart, Jeannie. Ah, here's another one. Black Beauties. Again, speed. Legal speed. Amphetamines. All right. And then, of course, if you, you know, they sell all these bikinis and, uh, you know, lingerie. But... Unless you're, you know, looking like this, but hey, you can. Here are, the, here are the pills you can take, right? Okay. And all the various schools and camps. <laughs> and we will just wrap it up with a cigarette ad. And then on the back, mascara. Your thoughts? <laughs> Anything jump out at you? Yeah, me too. Um, I see these magazines. You know, all magazines are about selling things, selling images, selling products. I get it. I get it. Um, but they develop mindsets too. They develop a mindset and a standard that I think could be dangerous. So, I think they need to be viewed as what they are, entertainment. Just like some of the social media hype things. This was the social media of the day. And I think the key is keeping it in perspective. That's fine for them but maybe not so much for me. So, I appreciate you, 
exactly how you are. That sounds so Mr. Rogers-ish, but that's so true. You are good enough in just you being you. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate your comments and your care and your concern and your loving comments to me. So, I bid you peace. I bid you wellness. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.